All right, so welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen, to lesson number two. And in this lesson, you can see that we're inside of ZBrush. And since we exported those meshes out from, from Maya and into ZBrush, this is going to allow me to go ahead and basically detail um, portions and parts of our model that we need just so that I can go ahead and do it a lot quicker than I can inside of Maya. Okay, so now what I want to go ahead and do here is just simply um, just drag out a, a few different uh, <coughs> alphas so that we can add a couple different um, patterns to our model so that we can have a, a template of being able to go ahead and detail uh, the, piece, the, the pieces that we need and what we actually want to add on to the model here. So I'm simply just going to import an alpha here, uh, well a couple different alphas actually, and we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we have our standard brush selected and we want it on our drag rectangle. Um, the key here is just making sure that you have a Z intensity that's high enough to give you a, at least a, enough detail and obviously this isn't going to be um, high enough resolution to go ahead and, and actually block on and, all, and also this is actually a little bit backwards so we have to make sure that we put this um, on the Z sub so let's just step back one here okay and this is going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and actually step back simply because this is fairly high resolution in terms of actual geometry that's inside of ZBrush here so we want to go ahead and just jump this up to say something like uh, 35 should be fine um, let's just go ahead and drag this out and see how this looks uh, that looks okay um, let's just go ahead and just jump back one more and I'm going to change my material there and we'll just go ahead and put this in the position that we want here and that should be should be fine so let's go ahead and let's just drag out here for our our headpiece and also for our eye portion so we'll go ahead and just minimize that back and we will go ahead and put this on our headpiece uh, it looks like the right position but that might not be enough um, Z intensity so maybe if we jump this up to something like 42 and let's go ahead and try and drag this out and see what this looks like and that looks that looks fairly good um, and we need this piece because of the actual graphic that we're gonna be gonna be doing I don't know if anybody's actually seeing the Futurama cartoons but this is going to be based off of the the jack on cartoon where Bender <laughs> episode where Bender was basically jacking on to electricity and we need this hole so that we can actually put a a wire and a plug in there um, and that looks that looks pretty good right there um, so let's go ahead and this just drag out for our eye piece here and I want to add a little bit of detail here just on the side so let's go ahead and let's drag out here on the side and that's obviously way too um, low res for for the eye portion there so we need to go ahead and just step back and we're gonna go ahead and step up one more subdivision level there okay and we'll just go ahead and just drag this out and that should be good um, you can see that it's still a little bit uh, pixelated in terms of the edges really that should be fine for us okay and definitely all on just the one side because the way that we're gonna um, go ahead and actually render out our our illustration all we really need to go ahead and do is actually put these um, dents and indentions on just on one side here uh, we can always go ahead and actually bring in another elf and, and put a little bit more um, detailing on here but I don't think we really need to go ahead and do that. Um, from the alphas that we have on here now, this should be fine. So let's go ahead and make sure that we save this. Okay, and we'll just save it in our tutorial directory where our data folder was. And we'll just go ahead and jump this up to number two just to make sure that we, just in case we have a problem later on down the road, we can come back and go ahead and fix that. So now that we have that saved, this is just going to take a little bit to go ahead and save simply because all the geometry here is um, fairly high resolution 
so I'm just going to go ahead and let this save real quick and go ahead and pause the video here while it saves okay so now that we have the the model saved what I want to go ahead and do here now is just decimate all these pieces and export these out okay so we just need to come into our Z plugin manager here decimation master and we need to make sure that we um, give a, a low enough percentage so that it's going to be not too high for the viewport inside of Maya here so let's just jump this down to something like two and that should be good so let's just go ahead and hit the pre-process and I'm only going to do the one here um, simply because you don't need to actually watch me do all three pieces here and you can see where this is going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and pre-process the decimation for the bender tool here and that's just simply because it's so high resolution that it, it, it definitely is going to take a little bit of extra time to go ahead and pre-process and calculate so since it has pre-processed let's go ahead and hit decimate current okay so now that the, the mesh has been decimated if we take a look at the the wireframe here you can see where the geometry is really let's just say um, weird and, and triangulated and that's fine all we really need to do is just go ahead and export this out so that we have something to basically retopologize inside of Maya okay um, like I said I'm not going to do these other two pieces you can um, go ahead and do them if you want um, I'll definitely do them after I hit stop here on the tutorial and make sure that I include these so that you know you can go ahead and read um, draw your topology yourself okay so um, yeah just come back in the next lesson and we will go ahead and uh, begin the process of retopologizing our model inside of Maya